Hi, uh, I am Miquel Prieto. I'm the surgical director of the kidney and pancreas transplant program at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Um, I just want to talk briefly about kidney transplantation for patients with polycystic kidney disease. Uh, polycystic kidney disease, in most cases, uh, ends up causing end-stage renal failure. Typically, is this happens in the fourth or fifth decade of life, and the patient at that time needs either dialysis or a kidney transplant. By far the best option for a patient to continue a normal healthy life is to get what we call a preemptive kidney transplant. This means a transplant that happens um, before the patient reaches end stage and needs dialysis. Those patients usually recover quickly and they are back to a normal life and going back to work within a few weeks of the surgery. Uh, this typically has to be done with a living donor, otherwise the patient needs to go on the waiting list and wait for, typically for a few years for a diseased donor kidney. Most of the transplants we do at Mayo Clinic are living donor transplants. The success rates are very high and we think that clearly represents the best option for the patients with polycystic kidney disease. There's a few specific things uh, that are important to take into consideration when a patient has this disease before they get transplanted. One is the potential need to remove the, the large polycystic kidneys. Most patients that get a kidney transplant don't need that. The few that need typically we do this laparoscopically and we do this after the transplant. We schedule the transplant first from a living donor and then we perform the bilateral laparoscopic nephrectomy a few months later. The advantage of doing it this way is that, first of all, they don't need to be on dialysis and they avoid some of the negative consequences and morbidity of leaving somebody anephric with no kidneys for a, for a period of time. Uh, there's other things that are important for the patients that have polycystic kidney disease. The main ones are that they need to have a very thorough workup to address whether this disease has caused any other problems. Things that a brain, as a brain aneurysm, hernias, and other problems, liver disease, that some patients uh, with polycystic kidney disease can have um, as other manifestations of their disease. We have a team of experts here and now who are fully dedicated to the study and evaluation of patients with these problems. They can get full genetic counseling even testing to see if their family members have the disease or not. And there are some trials that can provide maybe prevention uh, therapy of their siblings or of their children. It's very important that we address the entire disease. And in here at Mayo, we have a, really an opportunity to do a comprehensive study in addition to preparing the patients for a transplant.